Um, if they can kind of get an early pipe or Greaves or something on uh, Cosby and just kind of hold and solidify themselves and just push tower. Early blink on DK as well. Uh, they can take this game for sure. However, if uh, Bad Bitch can defend and kind of prolong the game, I think this Oracle's just gonna have a rough time saving saving the jug. And BBG will win. He does have less mana due to it, but he can always just, yeah, first a bit of liquid fire. Mean, oh, first blood, sorry, missed it. Master Goes up top. Juggernaut must have spun down the uh, Pugna there. Good kill for them. I wonder if um, they're waiting for his, he's got his phase boots now, oh. They do, yeah, it looks like a glimpse must have been used to take out the Jakira. Oh, and looks like Disruptor was only on a bit of HP. Juggernaut forced to spin defensively as he actually might be going down here. That healing ward keeping up a little bit, but Pugna's going to be able to hit it. He's not going to hit it, though. He doesn't need to hit it. Sniper comes in with a rotation, gets an ulti on him. Good kill for Grease Monkey. Looks like uh, it's a pretty good scenario for BBG. Sniper's pushing the tower. Spectre's getting some good farm as well. As long as they don't overstep and... Die here, stun. Ice path to follow up and Pugna probably gonna go down here though slows will be enough. He throws out a spell, but he will go down. Nonetheless, meanwhile, Sniper just pew pew, shooting away, he's okay. Another stun from the DK. Disruptor trying to help out with a nice glimpse there. This is just, Darkseer is so low, but here comes Grease Monkey. Nice rotation in, the Shrapnel giving a lot of vision here. And Pugna, he's respawned. Bit of magical damage there. And it looks like Oracle will be left behind as the rest of Dyer head on home after that uh, DK ulti runs out. Uh-oh. Disruptor with a haste rune. Not enough mana to get a glimpse off, but he might not need it because here comes Spectre haunting him. Also, does go down. Jug spinning. Has ulti, but there's a lot of targets there. Glimpse. Sniper as well, rotating in, but... One by one, they're kind of going down. Inspector's actually going to use this Uber as a free ride down to the bottom lane. In fact, I think some other heroes might join him. Disruptor will join him. Oracle, he's up on the high ground. He gets a lot of vision for his teammates here. The tower does go down. Pugna has come in as well with that rotation, but uh-oh, Oracle. I don't know, he does have a false, false promise. He uses it a little bit early, I think, but... Spectre needs to be careful not to overstep here. Pugna joining him, unfortunately. He might go down. No, the uh, life drain is proving too tough for DK. DK can't find him. He's still deciding to fight there. And now the ulti from the Disruptor. Everybody else has joined. That's too dead for Dyer. Do they still have a glimpse? They certainly do. They have a glimpse. The Oracle. Use the false promise on yourself once. His allies died as a result. And now glimpse back. He'll go down as well. And that was a little bit rough for... Team No Name to stick around. Holding in behind Radiant. Juggernaut. Radiant does have an ult, but you don't want to use it on a Pugna. He does have to Decrepify. He'll uh, opt to spin, though. So, oh, this is a glimpse back. Glimpse into ulti. Yep, and that's probably a dead Juggernaut here, unfortunately. Ulti from the Oracle doesn't come in. The jug goes down. Okay. Ulti is going to run out soon, but now they, this is when they split up. It is the tankiest hero on the team. Mechanism in five seconds. I don't know if they can kill him in time. He's going to try to ulti out, but there's the glimpse to hold him back. The rest of T Team No Name coming in to try to help the Oracle. Finally, he gets an ulti on an ally now. Juggernaut, ulti's off. There's the Decrepify. He will still have a spin. He'll probably get a kill here, but he's going to be isolated from his entire team. Spectre haunts him. This Juggernaut's in trouble now. Unfortunately, that healing ward's not going to be enough. He's only level 13. He does go down. The rest of Dyer, they weren't willing to join him. Be quite lucky on uh, Team No Name and not have anything come of it. They see where they are, though. Smoke's going to run out soon. <clears throat> what if they can get to them in time? It might be their Oracle. Unfortunately for Team No Name, that's the hero to kill first. That's their save. They will not quite see him. The Spectre ulti comes in the vacuum. That's a really nice combo. Oracle is there. Forces the ulti from the Oracle onto the offlaner of the Underlord. Okay, Dragonform does come off cooldown finally. BKB used as well. However, two heroes dead for Team No Name. BKB Dragonform is trying to run out of there, but it does run out just as the Kinetic Field's there. And that's three, four heroes dead. Poor Juggernaut. Still trying to climb back up on the net worth. And a triple kill goes to Dong. Team No Name. This is probably a good time to smoke up and take a fight. Juggernaut... 
isn't near them though i think they need their jug with them he's gonna pour it in but they need to wait for him it's gonna take too long he's gonna come in too late in the fight roshan getting gone on here sniper they need to go on this sniper here but bbg they know okay juggernaut they've waited for him to join they need to wrap around to the left here they've got some weak heroes they can pick and this might be a little bit of an interesting situation. Stun goes on the Dark Seer. Nice ice path onto a few here, but Pugna, he's managed to force an ulti onto this gear. And that's a really good ulti from Disruptor onto a few heroes. He doesn't get the kinetic field off in time, though. Two heroes dead on Team No Name. Dragon Knight trying to get any kill he can. Sniper, meanwhile, just sits in the back and just right clicks away. And nobody's gone down on Bad Bitch Gaming. DK goes down. That's four dead. Roshan is the prize as well. Bottom tower is under Here we go. That's a dead Oracle instantly and a nice vacuum as well. Jakira, nice macro fire and ulti. They're holding a few heroes in place, but they've got that much HP regen. They've got that much. The amount of heals from the Guardian Greaves and the pipe. It's just not enough damage. DK, the sole survivor there. And this is probably game. He wants to get a glimpse. He does get the glimpse off. DK goes down as well. They're not calling it yet. They think that they're maybe overstepping, maybe. Uh, vacuum. They're playing with their food now. Spectre, he knows what to do. Objectives. Most of the heroes from Team No Name will be up, but... Juggernaut, he's got... He doesn't even have an ulti. He's going to run towards the sniper. The sniper's just right-clicking him in the Bastions. It's going through it. Ulti from the Oracle to keep the Jug alive. Jug trying to get any sort of work done here on Sniper. He's going to kill him eventually. He does go down, but the Ancient... It's too late. The Siege Creeps will finish it off if the heroes don't. And Game 1 goes to... Bad bitch gaming. I think there's a lot of... Uh, they got to rely a lot on this Legion combo. And if they can uh, pull it off. I think BBG will win though. Shadow Poisons are not quite landing. He's... Trying to get another courier kill. I don't know about that. That's a lot of damage your way. This might be a dead shadow demon. He's only level only level one. That's a bit of a misplay there. And first blood. And this might be Nah, it's not gonna be another kill, surely. Skeletons there, he probably could have gone for it. Oh actually, Earthshaker. He's gonna kill him. Oh my god! That was such a that didn't Good skewers by Magnus. Uh oh. <clears throat> does grab that rune. He manages to skew his way up on the high ground, but they're still interested in him here. The net, he does dodge it. The slow, though, is there. Another net, though, from the second Meepo. They're going to jump in on him. Veno comes in to return, but it's already a dead Magnus. They might be able to actually juggle the tower here. And the Meepo, he's going to stay alive. Decrapifying him. Oh, that was a good idea. Meepo's gonna go for it. Magnus level six is ready. Skyroth's coming in as well. The ulti, but he did grab one. The Shadow Demon does put a ward down to help out. Magnus is in a bit of trouble there. Uses a shockwave. He's gonna go down. Pugna comes in as well. A bit more damage. Shadow Demon, four charges on the Meepo. That poison, but... Yes. Just wants to get a few right clicks here. How close is he? A couple hundred gold off. No mana on the Pugna. Gotta be careful of that. And Pugna might be in a little bit of trouble with the slows. The supports are going on him. That's a lot of damage on this Pugna. He will go down. Nice rotation. Oh, well, the Wraith King actually gets held in place. Meanwhile, Meepo. Echo Slam from the ES. The Meepo came in. He's so low. And there's the RP as well. Can they kill this Meepo, though? Life Stealer. So close that he does go down eventually. However, it's two for one. Magnus, they're holding this Wraith thing, but this is actually not a good skewer as it slows all the other heroes down. And Legion, Skyrath, they're bursting all these heroes. There's a lot, of, there's a double kill for the Legion. Uh, your and ultimately, I think 
Team No Name come out on top with this one. Swift sorcery. So it'll be Team No Name to make the first move, I reckon. This uh, Meepo's going to run quite forward there. The new Rod of Atos is ready. And here come the rest of the heroes. Magnus, nice skewer under the tower too. He's not going to ulti himself here. He does have it though. He might have to use it. Uses it finally, but this Meepo is pretty tanky. He will eventually go down, I think, with that poison. Dual victory though, onto the Legion coming her way. Pugna trying to help out the Meepo, but the Meepo goes down. Two for one so far. Lifestealer, he comes into this and he's eating people alive. Legion goes down. Two for two. Wraith King still farming and pressuring that lane there. Hmm. I don't know if you go Deso on... I think Deso Sanjasha on Lifestealer. Before Nullifier is a little bit greedy, you might want to get a Nullifier eventually. Oh, speaking of Null. Hmm. That is very much a dead... Um, there's a lot of combos going off here. There's a few combos going off, but actually, they're all surviving. They're landing everything, but it's not enough. Did he have Dig already? He did. Meepo dug himself underground and avoided a lot of splash damage there and four heroes are dead on bbg <laughs> 25 minutes in roughly roshan first roshan of the game is going to go down aegis on the deck i kind of hope they give it to legion to be honest Oh no, he's running! Oh no, the timing! Quick, kill him! Oh no, they can't get him! They can't get him, he's going! Oh, they got him. <laughs> wow. Good job. Magnus, really beautiful uh, ulti up into everything! The ulti, they burst down these two heroes, but they're coming back again! I don't know, is it enough? They come back, they've got extra lives. Disruption does help out. But Legion staying alive briefly does go down. It's a Legion for an Earthshaker so far. Magnus attempting again to skewer. Does skewer back the Meepo. The towers, he does dig in time. Meepo's underground. Oh, actually, he's become a Mega Meepo. Hold that thought off and try to hold him alive. Whoosh, they can't kill him. Dan right clicking away as well. It's a life stealer. He can't steal enough life. The disruption is holding him in there for a little bit. Kenny Armor Toggle, he's still alive. Magnus, he grabs another one. Not sure if he bought back for it. Really good defense from BPG. Buyback on Orphan. Though they're still wanting to have a go here. Nice. Okay, they pick off one. That's a... Yep, yeah, delete that um, partner there. Ulti. He does get the BKB. The disruption. That's what we wanted. Nice defensive play there, and this life stealer doing as his name intends, and there's the Echo Slam onto the Mega Meepo. Mega Meepo, the lonely target, trying to get away there. He'll go down, not quite, he's still alive. The Aegis is healing him up, the digs does go down eventually. I mean, they do have ultis that can pierce BKB. Oh no, he grabbed the Meepo. The ulti, the RP, he does manage to dodge it, I think, with a dig. He does dig, and there's the other Echo Slam as the ulti. One of the Meepos really weak, becomes the Mega Meepo. BKB, Legion, can't quite get a duel on anyone. He's still slow, he does get a duel on the lifesteal. Is a disruption there? It's not there, it's on cooldown. It doesn't matter, he wins anyway. Gets inside a creep to live. Legion goes down, Venom goes down. This is a big Wraith King right-clicking away. It might not have been enough. They've used their ultis, but now they're on the back run here because Meepo, he lived through that entire engagement. Magnus trying to get some tricky plays going and three are dead for BBG. Make that potentially four. The Meepo, they just couldn't kill him. And with those ultis being bursted and it not coming to anything, the fight gets turned around and Team No Name's favor there. Mega kill for Dan. So no Earthshaker. Oh, he's going to actually go in aggressively here. I'm not sure about that. The silence, but all of the rest of Radiant are TPing. He's going to cause them to TP as a response, but can they pick off anybody here? They can't on Team No Name. And now Wraith King, BKB. There's the RP. Oh, no. He, nice blink away, but he, he's not quite fast enough. And unfortunately, that's a dead Wraith King for 80 seconds. 
Dyer, I think they want to potentially fight out of the base. There's a pickup. He does have another life, though, so he's giving a lot of a lot of vision to the rest of his team. Earthshaker holding everybody there. Echo Slam, he lands on a few heroes, but there's the Hex. Meanwhile, Legion held in place a little bit there. The rest of the team fight going on to the right. Looks like three for one so far in favor of Team No Name. They can't quite kill this Meepo. is just right-clicking so much. Pugna keeping the Wraith King alive. He's back up again. Magnus, they use their spells, but it's not enough. This Meepo is just staying alive. The Decrepify forcing this Lifestealer to get the hell out of there. But it looks like it's not going to work out for him either. He'll come out. He does get a kill on the Wraith King. Good kill on the Wraith King there, but... Ultimately, you lose the team fight. A lonely little Meepo. This is a really fortunate thing to happen for them if they can get him, but they didn't see him. They ping it out. Magnus finds the Meepo. There he is. Up he is. He dug though again. He's digging so well. They've got some more ultis. Where's the ES? The ES is there. He's not going to ulti yet. There he is. One. Echo doesn't have another bit of mana. Does have it finally. Meepo goes down. Meanwhile, the rest of Dyer, they come in, but they've got no Meepo. They're putting the pedal on the brakes. But look what Wraith King's doing. He's pushing in. This bottom lane, he's forcing them to come back. The Meepo is back. They don't have their big ulties. They gotta respect. They're gonna try to get this Rax though. I don't think they've got their big ulties. No, you've got a Magnus RP. They've got one Echo Slam. There it is. Here comes the RP. Do they have an Echo Slam? Is he gonna dig in time? He becomes a Mega Meepo. It's a lot of HP there. The BKB, the ultis, they are coming down, but he's, he's just too powerful on this Meepo. I don't think they can take him down in time. All of Radiant looking pretty good, though. Meepos, they're right-clicking away. But meanwhile, on the back lines, the Dyer taking out the support. Can they kill this Meepo? He's digging. He's just staying alive. they got to isolate one of them. Earthshaker, Lifestealer, they're trying to do it. The Echo Slams. They're trying to hold him down. There's a buyback from the Shadow Demon. Legion goes down. Meepo, they kill everybody but the Meepo. He's the last man there. He goes down finally. Great thing is nearby. Buybacks from a few heroes now. Meepo, Legion, Radiant. They just got to book it now. They got to get out. Give them nothing. But no, they want to go again. There's another good skewer. They don't have the ultis this time though. But can they do it? Radiant. They're doing it, I think. They're able to kill him without these ultis. Can he dig in time? Dead, he comes back alive, BKB. Lifestealer, he takes out the Meepo. It's a dieback on the Meepo. And now BBG, they, I think they're going to win this game now. It was such a good attempt from Team No Name. They weren't killing the Meepo. It took so long, but he eventually went down. And I think that's GG. Woosh is going to call it. Wow. That was such a shame. They were coming back in it. This Meepo was scary. Meepo, they eventually took him out. They eventually didn't need the ultis to really kill him. This uh, life stealer just right clicked one of them down. I don't think he got a, a dig off in time.